What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more Fallout 76 Wastelanders news to talk about. Bethesda actually doing a new Inside of the Vault article saying Fallout 76 Wastelanders launch day and details. The wait is almost over. Soon a new faces will flow into the wilds of West Virginia. It will be up to you, uh, no, it will be up uh, to you to welcome them with open arms or loaded weapons. We're excited to share the Fallout 76 owners will be able to experience the Wastelanders expansion for free on April 7 on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC through Bethesda. Now, Fallout 76 will also be coming to Steam on April 7, and Wastelanders will be available to anyone who purchases the standard or deluxe editions of the game. In addition to introducing fully voiced NPCs to the world of Fallout 76, Wastelanders brings a brand new questline, new locations, new enemies, new weapons, a new reputation system, and much more. Get ready for Wasteland Wastelanders with a new trailer and learn more about how you'll be able to play it on April 7th. They go on to say, how to play Wastelanders. Currently, Fallout 76 owners will not need to purchase any additional content in order to play Wastelanders when it launches. This expansion is completely free for Fallout 76 owners. For those who want more, we're also offering for purchase two faction-themed uh, content bundles, as well as a combination bundle, which will give you, uh, will give uh, players access to exclusive cosmetic and camp items. These include the following bundles will also be available for uh, to purchase for Fallout 76 owners. Raiders Content Bundle, Minecar Planter, a small planter for your crops when no dirt is available building in your camp. Which actually sounds really cool. Raider camp change the look of your vault tech camp deploy uh, deployable to give it a raider edge. Raider stash box, raider themed stash box for your camp. Raider faction flag, new flag for your camp that shows off your um, allegiance to Crater. Raider um, pathfinder outfit look like another resident of Crater with the outfit includes mask and a ban um, bandana. Raider Conquest Loot Bag, a Raider Style Loot Bag complete with Skull, Raider Pillage Backpack, a Raider Style Backpack, Raider Marauder um, Power Armor Skin, a uh, unique appearance for your Power Armor based on the Crater um, Raiders, uh, celebrate people coming back into West, uh, West Virginia with uh, faction themed cosmetics and camp items including new Power Armor Skins, get uh, get all items when you purchase the Wastelanders Deluxe Edition or Raiders and Settlers Conduct, um, con uh, Content Bundle sorry, or purchase individual faction bundles. So, they obviously do look really cool. It doesn't look like Bethesda are actually giving us a price on this. Obviously, it'll be a little bit hard for them to do it on the Bethesda website because so many people are reading these from different countries and a lot of people have different currency and all of that type of stuff. So, yeah, it'd be pretty hard for Bethesda to do it, but I think the Raider one looks absolutely awesome. That minecart planter actually stands out quite a bit to me, and I think it's actually a pretty cool idea. Then we've got the Settler Content Bundle, Garden um, trunk bear, uh, Truck Bed Trailer, a small planter for your crops when no dirt is available, buildable on your camp. Settler Camp, change the look of your vault tech Camp, deployable to give it a Settler Appearance. Settler Stash Box, a Settler Theme Stash Box for your camp. Settler Faction Flag, new flag for your camp that shows off your allegiance to Foundation. Settler Mechanic Outfit, look like another resident of Foundation with this outfit, includes hat. Settler Travel Loot Bag, a Settler Style Loot Bag that looks like a, a travel case. Um, Settler Relief Backpack, a Settler Style Backpack, and Settler vil uh, Villagent Power Armor Skin, unique appearance based on the Foundation Settlers. Again, this also does look really cool, especially the Garden Truck Bed Trailer. That is going to be extremely cool and something that I'm definitely most likely going to be probably getting and actually building at my settlement. I might even get the Settlers Content Bundle. It does obviously look very cool in my opinion. The Raider one also looks really cool, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be siding, uh, si um, siding sorry, with the Settlers in the new Wastelanders update. But they also go on to say, Raiders and Settling con um, Content Bundle includes both sets of items listed above. Wait, oh, if you actually get the bundle, you can get both of them, which is actually pretty cool. For those of you who haven't jumped into Fallout 76 yet, you can pick up either Fallout 76 Wastelanders edition of the game, which includes the base game content and the Wastelanders expansion, or the Fallout 76 Wastelanders Deluxe Edition, which includes the full game and all content from the Raider and Settler content bundle detail above. So that's obviously very, very cool in my opinion, they say as well. Starting with the launch of Wastelanders will be uh, begin phasing out the Tricentennial Edition of Fallout 76, though players will still be able to purchase the individual items in the Tricentennial Pack on the ongoing basis. So that's actually kind of odd that they're getting rid of the Tricentennial Edition. Um, not really too sure why they're doing that. I guess it doesn't really make um, sense to keep it now that they're getting all the new 
um, bundles anyway. But they do actually talk about some new Steam content as well, saying Fallout 76 or Wastelanders are coming to Steam. When Wastelanders launches on April 7, Fallout 76 will also make its way to Steam. Both the Fallout 76 Wastelanders version and the Fallout 76 Wastelanders Deluxe version will be available for purchase in the Steam store. You'll be also available, uh, able to pick up Adams, a Fallout First membership, and the Tricentennial pack, and the Raider and Settler content bundle through Steam. So, yeah, again, that's really cool. I guess they might be keeping the Tricentennial pack for a little bit longer for Steam. They are pretty much the last thing they say, if you already have Fallout 76 on Bethesda.net, you'll be not be able to transfer your Atoms to Fallout First membership balance between Bethesda.net and Steam. Additionally, Atoms you will earn a specific uh, to one of the other platform. However, items you have purchased through the Atomic Shop will be shared across both platforms, Bethesda.net and Steam. As always, keep an eye out for the Inside the Vault series on Fallout.com for future updates on Wastelanders on all things Fallout 76. So I guess that makes quite a lot of sense that they're doing that because obviously Fallout 70, um, you know, Bethesda.net and the Steam Launcher work in a little bit of a different way on how they sell things, so it makes a lot of sense. But it's really cool if, you know, put your account in, you love the items from that, and you can transfer it over to Steam, which I think a lot of people might do. And it's a pretty cool thing, in my opinion, that Bethesda have actually taken the time to do that. But yeah, I'm just extremely excited for this Fallout 76 Wastelanders update. I think it's going to be very cool, in my opinion. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest Fallout news and Fallout content and Fallout 76 DLC news. I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on it all down below. Also, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on Fallout 76 Wastelanders? Do you guys think it's going to be good? Do you guys think it's going to be bad? Are you hyped for it? And what are your thoughts and opinions on the new content bundles? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on it all down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. I mean, you know, just my gaming, uh, my IRL site, Long Jail. Sorry, links to that are in the description down below. Um, obviously, yeah, if you're watching this, you are on my gaming channel. But yeah, IRL site, Long Channel and my sports channel. Links for that are in the description down below. So again, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.